Hi, it's Becky from My Nifty Thrifty Finds. Today we're going to be making some cactus rocks. These were so much fun to make, I will definitely be making them again. So we've got some green paint, our reindeer moss, some small pots, and some stones that I got from the Dollar Tree. You can see the different colors. Some of these are folk art, three different colors of green. I also have some white apple barrel. These little pots I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, a white chalk marker. I may or may not use this. I also have some reindeer moss. Thought I could put that in with the pots. Some different brushes I picked up at the Dollar Tree. The gold ones are fantastic. And these rocks are from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and soaked them in a hot water uh, and soap and scrubbed them to get all the wax off of them and clean them really well. So now I have them in sets of three. We're doing three different pots here. So we're gonna start with the dark green and I started painting it on and you know, I didn't like the texture. So grabbed a sponge and the sponge gave me a much better texture that I was much happier with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat on each of these with that color. And then once I finish that and let those dry from their first coat, I'm gonna go ahead and take that medium green and go ahead and put another coat on the next set of rocks. And of course now a brighter green. So a couple of these sponges I had in my stash from before and one of them, I think the first one was from the Dollar Tree when I started. So whatever little sponges you have around, I let those dry and then went back for a second coat because they definitely need a second coat. So each of the colors here is going to get a quick second coat. So once those dried and was happy, I'm going to mix some of that dark color with a little bit of white, do some mixing in there. And I'm picking one and just throwing some dots on it. Just trying to make it fun. I'm really just making this up as I go. You can kind of make your own. Just think about what you see a cactus look like and have some fun with it. Then I thought I'd try the same thing. I'm going to do some with a lighter color and do it on one of the other stones in the other sets. So now each set has one stone that's got the dots in it. Two were from the medium green, one is from the little darker green. I decided I'd add a little bit of lines in between on the darker green one just to give it that definition. And again, you can just play, you can add lines on some of them, you can add dots. Carrying the lines to the other side, you can see I'm just kind of having fun and kind of making this up as I go along. Once those dried a little bit, I decided um, that I needed dots on the other side. I've forgotten the dots on the other side of this one, so picking up the dots on the other side. And of course that meant the other one needed dots on the other side. One, two, one, two, three, four. 
So now I decided to add some extra parts to it. So I just put a little bit of black and a little bit of a pavement kind of gray. And I'm kind of following the same lines that I already put on these and just kind of highlighting next to them. Just kind of putting another shadow to the side. I'm not being exacting. I'm just having fun. I'm just adding it in, being creative wherever you'd like to do it. That's the best part of while you're making crafts. You can do whatever you want to make it fun. You can put lines, you can put dots. What do you think is gonna work for you? Right now, I'm having fun putting the black lines. I decided to pick up one of my little um, Mandela stone dotter and add some white dots to some of these small ones. Just make those fun, nice and small. Kind of like what you see in a cactus where the little spines are coming out. I like the way that look. Now I'm making small little X's. Kind of like, the, again, the little areas with the little, little spines on the cactuses. Not sure if spines are what they're called, but making it fun. Felt like those little X's just gave it a little character. Some of them are a little X's, some have an X and an extra line. Just trying to make them look a little different as we go through. And this one I'm trying to make more of a kind of Y with another point sticking out. Again, just trying to make them a little different looking from each other. Again, I'm kind of doing that little Y with an extra point sticking out. Again, now going to the other side of the stone. favorite part of this is just being creative and kind of making it up as I want. putting the little X's and Y's. You could put little faces on them. You could just decide what fun things you want them to look like. I'm keeping mine a little bit more on the serious side. Now I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick up some gray dots, add some gray dots on this one. Just kind of adding them into the spaces, filling in the blank spaces. I'm flipping them over, checking them all, make sure I've done both sides on all of them. Good, good. Oh, lost one side. See, that's what happens. You start looking, you find a side. So, just kind of adding some little texture to this last side here.
some of these larger Y ones, I'm just putting a little tiny black spot in the middle of the white. Um, even a little Y if I can fit it in there, just to give it a little more depth and a little more texture with an extra color in there. Now that I've all dried, I've kind of figured out how they fit in there. Um, and I decided that I like the one clay pot, but these ones um, I found through other wood pots that I found at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They were three for 99 cents and they're small wooden ones. So I decided to give it texture with different sizes and I'm gonna go ahead and paint those pots. So um, pink seemed like a fun color for one, great contrast against the green. So I'll leave the larger clay pot that I purchased at Dollar Tree um, in the clay color. I like that. But I thought, let's put a little fun and a little brighter color with some of the others. So pink is our first one. I'm doing all the way around the outside and on the rim. And then I'm going to make sure after I finish this rim that I am going to get just on the inside of there. I want to make sure that if anything is showing through, it looks like pink inside the pot. Now I have just placed some paper towel down in the bottom of this just to help fill that out so that the rocks will fit and sit properly in there. For the second one, I went with this fun blue color. It's a real life blue color. Again, these that's out of folk art. The pink was from Apple Barrel. I just made it fun. Again, gonna cover that pot everywhere. Make sure I get the sides and then I'll do the rim and make sure we get into the inside again, making sure we have that good coverage so if you're peeking into the pot, you see that color blue. Once those have dried well and we know all the paint is dry, then it's going to be time to put the rocks in. So I basically decided I'm going to um, hot glue in the rocks first, but I am going to use some Aquarian gravel as the base. I was originally going to use moss, but you know, I just didn't like the coloring of the moss in there. So um, we're going to hot glue in the rocks. I'm getting each of those three hot glued in, and then you'll see I'll place some extra glue and place those aquarium rocks in there. Just thought they had a nice color. I had them sitting around from an aquarium that had been unused, so I thought these are perfect for the crafts in there. So just pop, popping them in, getting the hot glue in everywhere, making sure they have the glue. I test them once in a while, kind of tip them, make sure no rocks fall out. If the rocks fall out, I need some more hot glue. And the same thing, hot glue them in. Actually, it looks like I decided to throw a few stones in the bottom of this one first, hot glue them in, then add those cactuses in. Just trying different methods, figuring out what worked the best for me. Again, adding some fresh hot glue to put those rocks in the side to give it that texture and landscaping. should say and then gonna add my largest cactus stones. This one has some space around it so I'm kind of gluing them to each other also so they'll stay up nice and tight. Once I've got them in there I'm gonna add enough hot glue and keep adding in the aquarium rocks. Then the next thing I wanted to do was add some little flowers. I had these little pink plastic flowers from one of my Dollar Tree uh, picks and so I was trying to decide to put one on each of them. Um, I found one that fit really well in there, did a little hot glue, stuck that in. I also had some little red berries that I pulled off from a um, Dollar Tree thing so I put those in and you know in the end 
as I finished, I decided the pink one didn't need any extra for it. I just did one little small flower and a red berry flower on the one and a pink flower on the other. So here's the close-up of those. Nice and cute, one little pink flower and on the larger one, which you see I don't have little rocks in there. Perfect. Hope you enjoyed this nifty. I hope you enjoyed this craft of cactus rocks at my nifty thrifty find. See you again soon.